Hello my fly babies, my patrons, my lions. It's me, Fly Lady Cat, and today is Thursday. And I'm here to help you have peace in your life, control in your home, and to learn how to finally love yourself. So what do we do on Thursday? A three-layer cake. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Yes, <laughs> we do our routines, we do our basic weekly plan, and we do our zones. So the basic weekly plan for Thursday is Erin Day, and the, and the zone is Zone 5, the living room. So let's get started. First, we're going to get up and do our morning routine. We know what the morning routine is. I say it almost every day. I skip some of the details from time to time, and I'm skipping it today. Go back to yesterday and watch it again for details. We're going to do our morning routine. We're going to put our children through their morning routine, and then we are going to... Um, be kind but firm. We're going to make sure we're doing three clutter checks a day. First one, right after breakfast. Make sure that there's no unthoughtful clutter. It's not anything anybody does on purpose, so don't get angry, including to yourself. You know, we just do it. And so we're going to go make sure we didn't do it so we can retrain ourselves, retrain our children to not leave clutter, to complete the process. We're going to do one after lunch if you're home or after you come home from work if you work outside the home or after the kids come home from school if they're still in school. And then the last one is before bed. Clutter check. We're also going to do the oh so important inspect what you expect. You can't blame your children if their rooms are a mess if you didn't inspect what you expect. Just get in there and help them get it clean again. Then if you'll inspect what you expect on a regular basis, which I'm saying is at least daily, it won't get out of control where they can do it themselves. Okay? All right, so we've done our morning routine. We've done our clutter check. We've inspected what we expect. Now we're going to go into our weekly home our basic weekly plan and for Thursday that is our errand day now because we're going to go outside of the home to run errands we're going to flip it around and do our zone first so we're in zone 5 the living room what thing do you need to do in there do you need to declutter for 15 minutes if so do that if you don't need to declutter you can do a single deep cleaning thing that takes 10 minutes or less it may be two little things that take a total of 10 minutes but I don't want you to spend more than more than 10, spend at least five, but don't spend more than 10 doing something in your living room to make it deep cleaned. Now I know you'll see other things, possibly if you're in the beginning, that, don't, that do require deep cleaning, and you're gonna look at them and say, I see you, and I have a plan for you, and let it go. If you've been doing this for a while, you may have a hard time finding something to deep, deep clean. It doesn't look dirty, clean it anyway. Baseboards don't look dirty, wipe them anyway. The window doesn't look dirty, clean it anyway. The blinds don't look dirty, clean it anyway. Pick one thing and do it. It'll always be clean. This is the, this is the loveliness of the program. Okay, next we're going to go and do our errands. So we're gonna go out and buy groceries, drop off those things we put in the back of the car uh, when we were doing our decluttering, our giveaway. Um, and we're gonna go buy stamps and we're gonna buy groceries and we're just going to do everything we need to do maybe even get gas while we're out we're going to run all our errands today anything your husband needed you to pick up for him anything that needed to be done today make sure you have a list that's prioritized and designed so that you make a loop instead of a zigzag <laughs> making yourself crazy and spending way too much time then when you come home make sure the groceries are the last thing you get when you come home put your groceries away maybe prep them a little bit and that's it that is your errand day. Then have a nice simple supper um, and do your after dinner routine with the family and before bed routines. Now for those of you who work, you're gonna order your groceries to be delivered or picked up or you're gonna delegate it to someone who can drive and is good with um, following your directions or you're gonna do them yourself on Saturday. Any other errands you can do on your lunch hour, don't forget to think about the delegation of your weekly home blessing hour. Let's go ahead and choose empty the garbage cans today. You can delegate that to any nine-year-old or older, or you can choose to do it yourself when you get home. When you do get home, start your laundry, go through an inch of paper, make dinner while dinner is holding, go work in your living room for between five and 15 minutes, depending on what you have to do. 15 is if you have to declutter, five to 10 if you're going to do a deep clean or two. And if you haven't delegated it, choose not to or have no one to delegate to, go ahead and take care of emptying the garbage in your house. 
that's it for today. After dinner, everyone empties the dish, I mean, everyone puts their dish in the dishwasher. Dishwasher was empty this morning, so we still have room. Puts their dish in the dishwasher, wipes the table, wipes the counter, sweeps the floor a little bit, wipe the stove, wash the pots and pans, take care of it. And when it's done, it's done. Don't run the dishwasher until right before you go to bed. Then take care of putting the kids to bed. The kids before bed routine as a quick reminder is wash your face, or take your shower or bath rather, wash your hair, comb your hair, wipe out the sink, brush your teeth, wipe out the sink, hang up your towels, uh, put on your pajamas, put your dirty clothes in the dirty clothes, pick out a story. And either read it yourself if you're big enough or I will read it to you. Um, even older ones like to be read too. You can read to a group at one time if you have a good chapter book. All right, that's it. Make sure you look at your plan for tomorrow, tonight. Don't forget to run the dishwasher. Always remember that you are beautiful.